Hey guys, uh, what's up? It's Sammy, Nathy, and I'm back on track with a brand new and uh, pretty awesome review on the channel in VR. That's right. So yeah, today I received a mysterious package in my mail and uh, to my surprise, it was from VR Cover. They sent me this uh, sweet looking VR themed uh, Christmas sweater and it's awesome. I love it. If you guys want to get one yourself as well, you can. It's now available on their website. Link will be in the description below. And uh, this is not a paid promotion. No, I got this for free and uh, I decided to give them a shout out. I do have to say though, this Christmas sweater is pretty expensive. So it's totally up to you guys if you want to grab one. But let's be honest here. This is an amazing way to celebrate this Christmas. Anyway, Nathy, what are we going to play today? Well, that's a good one. We are going to dive into Operation Apex and this is a title that lets you uncover the secrets of the Big Blue in an atmospheric deep sea dive. Within this simulation, you learn more about life on the water and it gives you the opportunity to be a part of its marine ecosystem. The game has been developed by Vive Studios and Curiescope, who are also known for their augmented reality shirt. Let's uh, give it a try now and uh, jump right into the metaphors. Let's -a go! Welcome! Now let's get the formalities out of the way. You've decided to join the Curio Underwater Drone Research Team. That's right. I'm Nat and I'm going to be your mentor. Hello there. I'm going to be training you up on how to use this rig to gather super valuable oceanic research. Nice. Now the network is divided up by relays. Each allows you to roam across a limited area. I've used my research rank to get you access to one of the deepest relays, column 239. It's currently the site of an archaeological dig. Ooh. So, let's get you started. Sweet. Okay, swimming. To move underwater, you'll need to hold down the triggers. One for standard speed, and two if you want to engage both fins and get going a little faster. Of course I want to go fast. You can use the paddles to turn. Squeeze the grip buttons and move them across your body to spin yourself. No, comfort rotation, my worst enemy. Why game? Why? To move underwater, you'll need to hold down the triggers. One for standard speed, and two if you want to engage both fins and get going a little faster. Yes, yes. Moving underwater takes a bit of getting used to, especially in VR. But stick at it, and before long, it'll be second nature. I love these tools. Okay, we need to go this way. There are two ways to analyze creatures. Scanning and luring. To scan, simply press down on the scanner button and point it at the active node on the creature. Scan all three of the urchins here. Aha, Eureka! Don did it! Using both swimming and turning, head on up to the top of that rise. Ah, over there. No problemo, amigo. I'm having a great time so far. So that's good. To lure creatures, you'll need to generate mimics with your lure tool. You can do this by circling your thumb around the lure button and releasing it on the mimic you want. Oh. Go ahead and bring up an urchin mimic. That is really, really cool. So where is it? Ah, gotcha. Now that you've got your urchin mimic, look above and around you for that shoal of amberjack. Offer the urchin toward them to encourage them in for a lure. Yeah, I'm trying. Ah, it works. Yes. Bingo. That's luring. Mimics mm. are going to be your arsenal of holographic creatures to lure in predators. Nom 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 nom. of which, the proximity transducer is detecting something coming your way. It's big. Oh. Definitely a fish. No. Please. Don't! No! Not a shark! Ah! I'm scared! It looks like Curio's entire marine network has just gone down. I'm not sure what just happened, but your security level is too low for the area. Without my clearance, you're gonna get kicked. Oh. Wherever you end up, just make sure to follow I don't like this at all! Whew! What a scary intro! 
That was terrifying. I'm not joking. Oh no, I can see it. It's swimming around me. A room skill VR adventure. Bring it on. Operation Apex. Whew, that was epic. Wow. Amazing. This is beautiful. Are you there? Yes. Oh man, that's a relief. I've managed to secure the connection. Now you've been bumped to a dock with a lower security clearance, but it does look like you're still the only one left in the network. Oh no. So, if we want to catch up with whatever that fish was, then you're going to have to complete investigations, improve your rank, and get back to the relay at column 239. Hi there. Your investigation in this area is around the lack of sea urchins. They compete for food with abalone, which is a kind of sea snail. So my first suggestion would be to go scan a group of abalone. Five should do the trick. I've added a zone to your radar where you'll find a large group of them. I'll do that with each new clue we receive. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's pesticide. The food chain here is most likely contaminated. Well, that sucks. To progress through each dive site, you'll need to complete an investigation. Rest your thumb on the scanner to find areas of interest and have them added to your radar. It's like Subnautica all over again. Excellent. Yeah. Now follow your radar to these areas and make discoveries by luring, scanning, and searching. This is a throwback. I'm going to scan this. Ooh. Cute creatures confirmed. One more? There are a lot of abalone down here. Yeah. That's unusual. With that many mouths to feed, the urchin have pretty steep competition. Why are there so many? Hmm. Suspicious. And now for the not so easy task. Scanning the urchin. Again, we'll want five to get us the data we need. You'll need to root around the rocks and caves to find these little guys. Okay. Let's check the map. Can I scan you? Take it easy there. Stop moonwalking around, please. Thanks. You hungry? Ooh! Yes! We are friends now! Congratulations! Ooh! I don't want to get in a fight with a crab. So let's get out of here then. Are you still stuck? Sorry about that. It happens, you know. Are we close? Abalone. 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 I've never known... I've never figured it out. Do you know what the plural of abalone is? Abalones, abalones, abalones. It's definitely abalones. Ooh, so this is the area. I'm going to grab my scanner. So we need five in total. Two more. Oh. I scanned that one already. Hmm. Ooh, can I? Gotta catch them all, right? They are too fast. What about... Up here? It's a good job ah. you don't have a body. Those spines have a habit of snapping off and anything unfortunate enough to get too close. So a lot of creatures keep their distance as a result. Scan shows that they're undernourished, just as I suspected. Huh. The network caches information at the relays before it's uploaded to the Curio Cloud network. There might be something of interest if we check it. 
You'll only have to get close and point your headset at it, and the info will download. Ah, welcome to the future. So this is where I need to be at. Oh, up there. You're not too shabby with that rig, you know. Does it feel okay? So, it's kind of good news. Thanks to a recent conservation effort, there has been a big improvement to the ecology in this area. But, this means, whatever is upsetting the balance is recent. And having a rapid effect. Ah. Too many abalone. Hmm. Well, makes sense to check the abalone's predators, right? That's the local crabs, leopard sharks, and black sea bass. Maybe start with three scans of different crabs. Three different crabs. I got two so far. And uh, we also checked out the ET uh, Skype phone, so... We're doing pretty well. Hey guys, I'm back. What's up? It's Sammy, Natey. I took some diving lessons. Okay, what about you? Do they mean different species or just three crabs in total? Scan one more red rock crab. Oh, we had to scan uh, three anyway. Are you still dancing around? This crab's in the process of molting its shell, and it's nearly there. It's hard to see, but right now it's taking in seawater. Soon, really soon, its old shell will split and shed and float to the floor. Must be nice to be able to reinvent yourself like that. But, huh. cool as it is, it doesn't shed any light on our urchin mystery. Thanks for the uh, interesting uh, Sharks are facts. Sharks vitally important to the ecosystem. Being near the top of the food chain, they serve to control many other populations. It'll definitely be worth getting a scan of one. You'll have to use an abalone or a crab mimic to even have a chance of getting close. Oh, okay. A crab? I'm gonna grab one. Ah! Is anyone hungry? What about you over there? I know you want it. Come a little closer. Ooh. These fellas are smart. Really, really smart. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Oh, no, it's still. The of the Ooh. In the area seems to be what would expect. If anything, uh -huh. they're enjoying the abundance of abalone. But there's simply not enough of them to limit the sea snail numbers. That was a uh, close one. That leaves us with just the black sea bass. They love to prey on abalone. They're most likely involved, so let's go for an internal reading. Can you get us a lure? Yes. Offer them an abalone mimic. That should do the trick. They're protogenous hermaphrodites. So while they're all born female, they generally transition to males after between one and five years, all being well. Wait, what? You're not too shabby with that rig, you know. Does it feel okay? I think your scanners seen better days, but hey, haven't we all? Huh. So... Let's give this a uh, try. Oh, oh. Don't be scared. I'm just here to feed you. Oh. What are you doing over here? Oh, you hungry too? Well, this food isn't for you guys, okay? So, move aside. I'm busy here. Be patient, Natey. That's all you have to do. 
Ah. Yeah, this is interesting. Yay. We will have to clean this up. Depressing as it may be, you made a great find here. Thanks. And the results have raised your research rank. You've now got access to the next relay. Yes. Let's go see what we can find. Sure. Let's -a go. And we are back on track, baby. Oh yeah. There is so much to explore. There is so much to do in this game. It's crazy. I'm noticing there aren't as many small schooling fish in the area. The two I've seen are the sea bass and the sardine. Wait a second. Perhaps start with scanning three shoals of the sea bass. Yes. Remember, use your abalone mimic for getting their attention. Let's try. It works. Oh, I see. We will have to connect them together. Stop moving so fast. One more. Okie dokie. Ooh, this is a large area. We're in trouble with this one. Trash everywhere. Such a shame. We're going deeper and deeper. Ooh, the excitement. The continental shelf runs right around the perimeter of every single continent. Hence the name. They effectively out... Oh. You've impressed people at the top. Opening up this drone relay so soon after starting with us is not something we've seen for quite a while. I'm honored. How the radio stopped for a moment. That was kind of awkward. So... Shipping containers. Oh. It's estimated that over a thousand of these get knocked off cargo ships every year. Thankfully, these haven't split on impact. Probably full of ducks. What a douchebags. So, I will have to scan... ...this group over here. Okay. Scan it, Natey. Slow but steady. Oh, oh. Sam suggests that their community size is rather small. Something's keeping their numbers low. We can only wonder if it's related to the large readings we picked up when we entered this zone. Can I not? The only other small schooling fish that would be worth getting an estimate on would be the sardines. I'm always amazed at how relaxed these guys are. They'll stay pretty chilled, short of you swimming directly through them. I wanted to say, can't I clean this place up? Because it's a mess over here. It is. Oh no, even more! Will you look at all of that? It's so upsetting. The upwelling has brought in all this trash. It's sneered at the base of the shelf. Only a hint of what's out there, I'm afraid. That internal reading from the lure tells a lot about the nutrients in the area. Oh. It appears our crab has been dining on remains carried here by upwelling currents. This kind of change in the system might have encouraged different creatures to join us at this depth. Where's this cable going? Abalone. It's not even abalone anyway. In New Zealand it's power. I'm getting bombed by uh, information. Hello, sardines. I'm just here to make friends. I think this cable is going back to my, uh... Cage. My submarine. My diving equipment. 
the Curiosity 1404. Ah, so that's what it is, huh? Anyway, it tells me to go that way. Oh, I see them. Well, that was easy. It wants me to go more the continental down. shelf runs right around the perimeter of every single continent, hence the name. They effectively outline the massive plates on which our human civilization sits. Oh, I can just scan them without putting out a trap. Ha! Huh. Finally! Ding dang! One more. Don't leave me! Wait! Okay. Lots of scanning. Oh, oh! Wait! No! Oh! Nothing like as many as yes. Especially considering that schools of sardines can reach up to seven kilometers in length. I wonder if their new neighbor has taken a shine to them. I got a plan. Pick up data from the local relay. See if that sheds any light on who could be lurking here. Oh. Oh, no. So I know how to clean up all the junk. Okay, so I have a grabber. And I think this is what we need to clean up the ocean. Let's give it a try for science. Yes! It works. No, not really, but it at least gives me the opportunity to investigate the mess. Maybe you can bring this to a certain location and uh, put it in a bin. I don't know. Would be possible. So what do we have over here? Hmm, recover data from local relay. That's interesting. There's a wide range alert along the rise. Looks like a scanned whale shark has gone missing thousands of miles south of here. Oh. What is this? Hey, looks like you found yourself a little cave. Huh? Various kinds of tectonic movements can cause these. This doesn't extend into the shelf, which is probably a good thing, as caves can become particularly easy to get lost or trapped inside. It's really nice that the game has side quests that you can follow. You are in control. Looks like an old gillnet. I'm guessing it was taken down. That's at least good to see, because if it was left, they'd go on catching fish forever. Ah, I see a chair. A wild one. Hey! Where did you come from? Oh, careful there. Let me help you. Oh! Hey! Ah! Gotcha! Don't worry, I will bring you to safe ground. That's it. Glad I could help. So... They want me to go this way, diving up. How high should we go? How high can we go? That's even a better one. I should go to the walls, the ceiling. To be more precise. It's right here. I'm not allowed to go there. Okay, so apparently I triggered a bug and that's why I couldn't proceed. 
I spoke to the developer through Skype, he helped me out and now it finally works. So let's keep on playing guys. This is it. This is my moment. This is going to be awesome. And a little scary. Okay, it's this way. We need to go to open waters. Yes, yes. We're getting there. I should be able to see a whale shark. A whale shark. You do not normally see them in this area. I wonder where wow. it's come from. I need to scan it. See if you can get a mimic inside him. I reckon your best bet will be a sardine or sea bass. He's a filter feeder, so eats by letting food drift into his mouth. Oh. He won't <laughs> come to you. You'll just have to lay it in his path. Okay. Oh. I missed the last point. I was waiting for her to finish the talk. So I will have to try again. He's really fast. Whoa. Amazing. Abalone's. It's not even abalone anyway. In New Zealand it's power. Ah. Well done you. <laughs> what a beauty. And he's definitely had a track on him at some point. It is. Why so far from home? I don't know. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Don't eat me, okay? Just don't. Whew. Okay, so uh, we will have to uh, feed him. I'm sure he's hungry. Hmm, so what should we go for? What do you like? Ah. I see, I see. Let's speed up a bit over here. He's going the other way. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It is. So, you hungry? Oh. Whoops. This guy is hungry. He's clearly traveled for some time now and not having a great deal of luck. It worked. It looks like he's ended up with quite a few of those plastic bags inside him as well. Oh no. Interestingly, Gross. his readings also suggest that he's used to living in a far colder climate. Oh? Yep, this is the very same whale shark. Woo. The tracking was lost in the winter, some three and a half thousand miles south of here. These days, with all the floating plastic that filter feeders ingest, he was presumed dead. But well, here he is, and you found him. Yes! He moved north along the coast, seeking out new feeding grounds. We nailed him. Let's just hope he finds a cleaner one than Folly Wall. <laughs> it took with me an hour. complete, the column 239 is open to us again. Maybe Let's next time. What happened, and who really is our Phantom of the Deep? Ooh. Oh. I'm getting more and more curious over here, but what I wanted to say is that it took me an hour to trigger this uh, wheel in the first place. So anyway, now it's time to jump to the outro and uh, end this video for now. Let's -a go! And that was uh, Operation Apex for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you did, then slam that like button as always and let me know in the comments below what I should play next. That would be nice. So yeah, I gotta say, Operation Apex is a great educational game. Let's say for schools, this is perfect. It's a handy tool to learn youngsters more about the ocean life. It takes you around two hours to finish and it's pretty much a point-to-point -point adventure. Graphics-wise, the game isn't really impressive. I agree, they could have made the levels way more detailed and look more alive. The maps I played seem to be quite empty and the developers could have easily fixed this by for example adding a coral reef or something totally different. Next to that, I was missing real interaction. The only thing I could really do in-game was using mimics, underwater thrusters and the grab tool. It would have been awesome if you could hold on to a shark's fin and swim together or simply touch a sea life in the first place. Anyway, moving on, I was very impressed by the animations. Most of the fish we spotted in game were moving in a realistic way and because of this it really felt like I was diving underwater. Immersion, well done I would say. 
The overall gameplay is really good too. The tools you use to swim are a natural pick and make it easy to move yourself throughout the missions. Spinning your menu wheel might have to be improved since it's really hard to turn it around. The GPS was super handy and felt like a decent add-on. On the movement side I would like to see more options. At this moment you can only do a comfort turn while VR veterans out there might want to go for different settings. If you get motion sick of standing experiences on the water then don't worry Operation Apex allows you to change the game to seated as well. This way everyone can enjoy the title. And that's great news! Other things I noticed are the solid sound effects, cool hot design, it's relaxing uh, gameplay and hungry sharks. Yes, the last one is of course really, really important. So if you are interested and you want to grab this game, then you can. It's now available on Steam. It's officially supported for the Vive, but I'm sure it works on the Oculus Touch as well. Link will be in the description below. Now it's time for me to sign off and as I always say, and I see you guys next time. See you in the metaphors. And uh, again, thank you VR Cover for sending me this sweet VR themed sweater. So yes, it's uh, time for me to go. See you later and uh, have a great evening. Bye bye.